Greetings, this is a quick tutorial of some basic features and layouts of Quant Tower. Let's start on the left hand side here. We have a menu which gives us some options. We can create a template which we have here. The template is for the entire layout and for these buttons across the top. Uh, they are uh, segregated into different areas like this is all for charting and analytics as we can see we have a DOM surface TPO chart which is a special chart we'll go over uh, in a standard chart and these are all up here and then we can see in green we have some trading we have the DOM trader and order entry panel uh, market depth and so on uh, and as we can see the ones that I have chosen as the stars are sitting up here on the top uh, we have portfolio information this is for positions orders and trade this is right down the bottom here uh, we have informational this is all the account information performance which i've added at the top here and we have some miscellaneous items down here at the bottom for example looking at stats contacting help uh, backups and quotes what i have set up here is a single chart uh, and these are module based so if i click on chart Notice it will come up with a chart here. I can move this around. I can snap it into positions on the left, the bottom, and the right. And I can add it to the panel on top where it will add itself to this bar, uh, this, this menu bar at the top. A couple of different ones I've already added. This is a standard chart. This is the DOM surface, which is an interesting representation of the market. And this is a TPO chart. We can see it laid out very nicely and I can scroll in, move this around. Uh, we can go right down to the granular level where we can see all of the TPO information for our letters, uh, which is really good. Down the bottom, I have these grouped together as positions, the trades that were taken and any working orders. Uh, these will, uh, will show obviously I have nothing here. So let's go and put an order on. Let's say I want to go long at this area. Here's my order panel. This button here we can add and remove show or show and, and not uh, and, and, and hide <clears throat> quantity of the number of contracts one two five very very quick we can use these here to change them as well um, we can save this panel put a comment in here as to what we like to trade currently we have no stop loss set so let's put a stop loss on this I'm trading NQ as you can see up here so let's give itself some room let's put 80 ticks which is 20 points, and we can choose whether we want this to be a trailing stop or not. We have profit. Let's do a one-to-one -one here. So we'll make this 80 ticks as well. And let's place an order. Right down the bottom with our order placements, we have options to flatten our trades, close all positions, one-click reverse, which is interesting, and we can cancel all pending orders down here. So let's just go ahead and do a market. We can see that we have um, a real-time P&L added right on. We have our bracket orders as such, and we can actually take these and move these if we wish. We can move our target, and we can move our stop as we wish. We can close the trades right from here. If I click close, it gives me the opportunity to close. And now if I'm closing these, I need to close my brackets as well. However, when they do hit a bracket, uh, let's say it hit my profit, it will close the stop loss uh, at the same time. We have a DOM on the right hand side uh, in this particular setup where we can just click to add a, an order if we wish. There's a limit order. And then here, uh, once we cancel all orders, you'll see that everything is canceled. Oh, that was a pending order. It was already in a position, so I can't cancel my order. I have to close my position and confirmation, which can be turned off. There are some neat features, some drawing tools. Here is the, the full menu right here on the left hand side we can scroll this up and down uh, let's just click on a rectangle click drag click again we have our rectangle we can go to our settings of rectangle we can change all the features we can move it to the background if we have multiples keep it on here um, change the, the the left ray and right ray as you can see in the back these are all real time um, and we can change the color we can change the line the types the fonts and remove we have some drawing tools like here's a line again we can add left ray makes it all the way across so those are some basic features that we have um set up we can see now we have trades populated it's a very basic layout i want to give you some of the examples let us know if you have any questions